guys i hope you're all well having a lovely day thank you so much for watching if you don't know me already my name's amelia taylor thank you so much for joining me so today i'm going to be sharing with you my april favorites i haven't done the monthly favorites in a very long time and i just felt like it was very overdue i just got to a point last year when i did do my monthly favorites that i just kept sharing the same thing so i've just kind of left it and so today i thought i would just pick up the camera and share some products that I have been absolutely loving the last couple of months and they are new products which I've just been such die hard fans of if you knew me with my skincare you can see my skin's really cleared up at the moment so some of these products I definitely think have really helped with that and yeah products that I just use day to day and it just gets so much use out of them so hope you enjoy this if you haven't already please like and subscribe if you like this video it really supports my channel and yeah everything will be linked down below so go and check it out and yeah let's get into it okay so first off we're going to talk about hair and it's a brand that I've been absolutely adoring and we've recently been introduced to and that is the living proof I knew the living proof when it came to dry shampoos but I didn't know the extent of what other products they create and how incredible they are for your hair so living proof kindly sent me over some products and I've been trialing them out and one which has really like been my like hero product and I mean hero product is the living proof this is the Frizz Ease Vanishing Oil. And when you think about oils, I've been trying to use a lot of oils in my hair to help with like dehydration, hair repair. But this isn't quite like that. This is this is a hero for people who suffer with frizzy hair and flyaways like I do. I actually haven't worn it today. It's not looking too bad, but I think where I've been wearing this for such a long time, it's actually really helped with calming my hair. So this stops frizz and adds healthy shine, and it literally does that. So how I really like to apply this into my hair is either after I've washed my hair, I like to put a pipette through the wet hair, or I like to do it a couple of days after I've washed my hair, and I can feel like I've got a bit of flyaways, so I like to just add it in especially if I'm doing my hair up this is just really good but it's not greasy it's not oily I do make sure if I'm using it on dry hair to use only a small amount so maybe half a pipette but it works like a charm so if you do suffer with frizziness then I would really recommend giving this a go it's silicone free oil treatment and yeah it's been my absolute hero so a, another product and another brand actually i which i've been recently introduced to is lumine lumine nordic and one of the products i have been trialing and absolutely adoring and every time i do my stories or if i recently i've been doing lives and people go what are you using on your skin which makes your skin just look so shiny and healthy when i've got no makeup on and i definitely think it's this glow boost by lumine this is the Nordic Sea Glow Boost and it's full of vitamin C. It is a hero product and, and I use it every day in my morning skincare routine and it smells incredible. So I put my eye cream on and then I put a pair of this on and then I do a little bit of lymphatic drainage and then I put my SPF and moisturizer on. But yeah, really enjoying this and I've just seen such luminance and hydration. Just a, a lot more balance in my skin. I've been using other products as well but something I think I really noticed is this. Now whilst I'm quickly on the subject of skin, I just said that if you've noticed my skin has cleared up quite a lot and I really think as well I have been drinking peppermint tea. I used to despise pe peppermint tea. Something about it, it just smelled like those, you know those minty cigarettes? that people smoke it just smelt it tasted like that and it was just like a foul foul taste in my mouth but i've been drinking peppermint tea and also fresh mint tea and i have been absolutely loving it my friend kirsty actually a while back we were all on zoom call and she did say like a recommendation as she's noticed that she's where she's been drinking a lot of mint tea her skin has really calmed down so if you are really struggling with breakage breakouts and you don't really know what it is try mint tea like just give it a go don't it won't be like an overnight thing but i have seen such a difference in my skin so i'd really recommend it i just use like the the house peppermint teas which we get from tesco's or sainsbury's 
but yeah i just wanted to put that in there before i forgot so next up is another new brand which i kindly got given on i think it was valentine's weekend and it was from a lovely brand called penhaligans now i'm sure a lot of you know about penhaligans they are a very very beautiful and very enchanting brand it's got a lot of history about it they've been around for 150 years i believe i think they celebrated their birthday 150 years of penhaligans this year but what i really love about it is that each fragrance actually has a story behind it which is just so beautiful but one of my favorites is the favorite it's just such a beautiful fragrance and what i really like about it is it's musky which i like i quite like deep perfumes but it's got a really nice fresh floral scent to it which is so beautiful and i really love the bottle i think it's so sweet and it is such a treat to wear and a product that just lasts on your skin so much i was actually kindly invited recently to go to the store and trial out a new one i picked out the duchess rose which was inspired by the daughter of penhaligans and it's about this kind of like a naughty rose and it is it's like it's not a rose fragrance that you would expect it's really like heavy and it's just really sexy and i really love it um so i'll leave that down below as well it is so beautiful i just wanted to give a massive shout out because i've been really enjoying the penhaligans fragrances the next up is an item of clothing that i just cannot get enough of if you are new on my channel or you already know i am a big diehard fan for sharing things which i wear time and time again and one of those things is a trench coat this trench coat is from river island it's this beautiful blush pink trench coat which i think is so sweet and it's got the most beautiful little details it's got some really nice like bow tie up on the cuffs and i just think it's such a gorgeous a gorgeous trench coat it is a hundred pounds i did go for my two size and i love to wear it with a white shirt white jeans and my little ballerina pumps i just think that just looks so cute but it's just a jacket that i've literally just been grabbing all the time and have been absolutely loving so i really hope it's still available online i will leave it down below and then if it isn't i will leave a couple more but it's a really beautiful trench and i just love that pink i just think it's such a lovely color so next up is a mascara and if you have been with me for a while you know i've been on a little bit of a journey with mascara since lockdown i used to wear lash extensions i used to wear the lash strips and then when lockdown came obviously we weren't able to go to our beauticians and in a way i feel like it was a little bit of a blessing in disguise because my lashes were like ugh, horrible so thin just so broken and they needed a proper tlc so i got the castor oil i got Ravita lash and they did come back to life and it gave me the opportunity to get used to my face again and just get used to enjoying my face with less makeup on and I actually really prefer my face with less makeup on like I love putting makeup on it's just one of my favorite things to do and a way that makes me feel so amazing and so good but not wearing those full lashes was a massive shock to the system but now when I look back at it if I can find like a picture or something which is like shocking I will leave it here but I just changed my face so much especially for someone who picks them so if you do not touch them and you've got beautiful thick lashes anyway go get lash extensions because they are incredible and I do love them don't get me wrong but for my face I just don't think it suits my face personally and I actually prefer my face a little bit more natural and less upkeep I feel like an easy woman <laughs> but long story short so I went on a journey with mascara and with mascara all I ever got was panda eyes I just suffered with panda eyes so much I would just to get them even over after a couple of hours of wearing mascara i tried different ones i've tried powders a lot of you lovely lot were really helping and recommending me with some product a few people i think really recommended the benefit was roller lash the benefit roller lash which is incredible and the first mascara which worked heaven on my eyes like I just had to have a little bit of powder on and that was fine. This is my new favourite. This is the Benefit They Are Real. This is incredible. Probably a little bit more waterproof as well, which is amazing. But I don't wear powder under my eyes anymore. It is incredible. I absolutely adore this. Really affordable as well as obviously it's Benefit, kind of like a high street brand. 
absolutely adore it and I just think it makes my my lashes look super fluffy and super big um yeah massive fan of it so definitely if you're struggling with mascaras or want to try something new out I would really highly recommend a try now they're real and I believe actually I keep Doing that i believe benefit actually have travel sizes as well so if you want to give it a go you can get the smaller one to see if it works best for you the so next up is some shoes and it's something that i've purchased to go into spring and it is a pair of converses and it's not the classic pairs people ask me so many questions about these ones because they look a little bit different i was really obsessed with getting the Comme de garçon collaborated Converses, which have a bit more of a vintage creamy look. I can't get my Converses right now because I've literally just washed them, which was really silly of me. I'm gonna leave pictures, inspiration, and kind of a bit more of a visual example whilst I try and describe them the best I can. But the Comme de Garçon ones, they were a bit more creamier, a little bit more thicker, and I just thought the quality of them just looked so good. In comparison to the classic ones, I feel like they're just a bit too thin and too white. I don't like it when they're like that white. So I was looking, I can't remember who I came across. I think it was when these two French girls did a collaboration with a brand called Fall From Reckless. Philippa and I name, I think her name is Faker Storm. Leave them down below, they're really cool. But they were wearing Converses and I was like, they're not wearing Comme de Garçons. They're not wearing the classic ones. What are these? And I went on a super search and I found them. They are literally like the Comme de Garçons with the really nice cream vintage bottom. But they've actually got a black tag and a leather circle logo and I just love them so much. I've been wearing them to death. I absolutely love wearing them with flares. I think they just look so cool. So yeah, I absolutely adore these. I did find them on size. I found them on ASOS as well, but they were out of stock. So I've linked the size ones and I get them true to size, super comfortable. And I just can't wait to wear them in the summer with some little dresses. But yeah, I've been really adoring wearing these with like flare trousers. I think that just looks really cool. So next up, it's probably a little bit of a random one, but probably something that everyone can relate to. It's hand sanitizer. So I've been really loving the Han. It's called H-A-A and hydrating hand sanitizers. They kindly reached out and gave me some amazing ones and literally me and my housemate house we literally rampage it absolutely love them they've got beautiful fragrances as well this is the gentle paloma it's a really nice like it literally smells like my perfume it's beautiful but what i love about these as well is that they're a spray mist instead of a gloopy jelly wet texture so you literally spray your hands like this and then you can rub them in. They also as well really cleverly have come with a refill package which I will leave down below as well which is super handy so you will never run out and also less waste and a little bit more sustainable. So I will leave those down below because I'd really recommend them and they come in different fragrances like mojitos and everything like that. So yeah, definitely go and check them out. So I thought I would insert something that I've been watching and I've been watching Bold Type, something that I really struggled with at first but actually really enjoying. Bold Type is kind of like Emily in Paris but in New York and it's based around three best friends who work for a online magazine and kind of fitted to our generation with the approach of different social media platforms, different ways of advertisement and they really talk about some really amazing topics which are really relatable and just having that conversation which is really good. I at first didn't like it because of the fashion, I really struggled to get on board with the outfits. They were three girls who were working in New York at a magazine and it just was like just not, it just didn't connect their outfits and their makeup and things like that to the magazine. I was just like what is going on? Um, but you literally have to, if you're if you have that same opinion, then you definitely have to just wash that over your head. Just enjoy the storyline because it is really good and we really loved it. It's available on Netflix. Sorry about that. My 
battery died. So I was talking about the bold type and just how it's a really good girly, girly series to watch and I'm just really enjoying it and the topics that they cover are just really, really on point and yeah, I'm just really enjoying that. So definitely go and check that out. That's available on Netflix. So next up, I'm going to be talking about white jeans. White jeans have been my absolute favourite this, this month. I've literally just been going to them. I just love how they just feel super spring and just feel a bit more bright and really complimenting i love this pair i wear all the time these are from zara these are quite old these are my zara i think they're the high rise jeans but if i can find them i will leave them down below or some similar but they just go with everything t-shirts shirts jumpers i've just been absolutely loving them and creating like a really nice neutral color palette outfit i've been really enjoying those so next up is something a little bit different and maybe something that people might be like what so so a brand kindly got in contact with, they are called oto and they are a cbd company and something that i've been really interested in and just wanting a little bit more knowledge in why it's become such a popular ingredient to have in our lifestyle and if you don't know what cbd is it's also extracted from the same marijuana plant if that makes sense but it has a different effect i know it's very beneficial for people who have different types of pains in their bodies and have seen such a major beneficial response to taking marijuana but i've been trialing out cbd i hope that made sense which is the oil form of it which doesn't give you that same reaction it's a more more of a natural painkiller in a sense and also as well it's really good for helping you feel a little bit more calmer and also it's a really lovely way to use it also as a oil for your skin. Uh, I had a conversation with one of the lovely ladies from the brand and she just really uh, really elaborated the benefits of using it and ways that it can really imp have a really amazing impact onto your life and onto your days and onto your mindset. So I've been really enjoying it um i've been using the sleep drops and these have 10 percent cbd in them so it's not a massive one so i just do half a pipette under my tongue um and yeah i've just been really enjoying them i feel like i've seen a little bit of a difference i feel like it's just a really nice way to feel calm and it really helps me sleep actually i really enjoy them and yeah i've just noticed such a difference so i've been taking these i've also been taking cbd drinks as kind of like a supplement to alcohol sometimes when i'm feeling really stressed all i want to do is have a glass of wine or a gin tonic so what i've been trying to do is just to reach for the cbd drink because it's going to give me that kind of same relief of just calmness that you want to get from alcohol but you don't get from alcohol so i've been taking cbd CBD drinks and yeah I've been really enjoying them so I will leave them down below um, if you're interested in giving them a go but yeah I don't know too much and I'm not a professional on CBD but I will leave some information down below if you want to go and check it out so a tool that I've been absolutely adoring is sorry it's got a bit of my hairs in it is the GHD rise this is incredible as you can see it's like a tong with a hairbrush these hair brushing tools and they also move up and down which is really clever so that's really going to help just really move through your hair but i've just been really enjoying the the outcome of my hair it doesn't flatten your hair like a straightener does it's just going to really just glide around it like a curler but also as well you've got those brush tongue that brush applicator on it as well so it's going to really pick up your hair and just create a really lovely look so i really like doing this look at the moment it's a bit undone because it's later on in the day but just doing a really nice quick flick and just styling my new bangs that I have but it's just an incredible tool and my mum has been giving it a go and my mum has super curly hair and she just said that this is a tool that she just needs in her life because it actually holds and creates a really nice style and lasts and with frizz it really calms it down but what I love about it with someone who's got straight hair is it does give me volume and a really lovely texture so I have been absolutely adoring that i do have some styling videos of how i use it so i'll leave it down below and then last but not least something that has been in my hand since the beginning of 2021 oh, is my carry co perfectly planned 2021 diary i have been absolutely adoring this i want to show you i'll show you like obviously empty pages but for example it starts off with the month 
and then it goes on to August top goals uh, tasks to complete so it's really nice to like just do a little bit of manifesting and and to write down some goals that you want to achieve this month it has a really good calendar um, so it's like a wide one and then each week so each week you have this page show it shows you Monday down to the weekend and then some notes and like a to-do list and then on each then each day you have like a timetable and some notes and some like free main goals and I just think it's so amazing and just keeps me super organized so I will leave it down below if you are still on the hunt for a diary I know we're kind of near the middle of the year but it's been insane and then at the end of the month which I really like as well I've really gotten into like meditating and journaling um, and just writing out my goals and my achievements because I feel like it, it just helps so what it also has is at the back it has let's talk talk facts and figures what was your biggest achievement this month was there anything you wanted to achieve but didn't if so why and then it says like your stats like your revenue generated um it's kind of a bit more for like social media people but it has like social media following but you can obviously alternate that to something else like how many times you worked out that week um that month how many times you meditated um, if you started a new hobby, how many times did you do it? Um, just silly things like that. So I've been really enjoying that as well. So yeah, guys, that is the end of my monthly favourites. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said throughout this video, everything will be linked down below. Again, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really supports my channel. I try and post two videos a week. One is a weekly vlog and then one is kind of like a curated, edited video like this. So again, thank you so much. Send in all my love and hope you're all doing well and I will see you next time. Bye guys.